Hi, welcome to another video. Apple made some cool announcements recently at their WWDC event, and they are quite impressive, to say the least. They launched their new OS for Macs, iPhones, and more. But that's not what concerns us today. What concerns us is Apple intelligence. Yes, Apple has named their new artificial intelligence features Apple Intelligence, which is quite an Apple thing to do. Now, iPhones, iPads, and Macs have a bunch of new AI features. First, Siri is now much better due to improved on-device inference. You can ask Siri follow-up questions, type requests, and Siri's capabilities will be integrated into core Apple apps. Although they haven't confirmed which model they are using, it is speculated that they are utilizing the open ELM model they released earlier. If you know these models, you'll know that they are small and efficient, but not as good as ChatGPT. So, they have also announced their partnership with OpenAI. If you or Siri think there's something the on-device LLM can't handle, you'll be prompted to get an answer from ChatGPT instead, specifically the GPT-4.0 model. Now, you may say, oh, so OpenAI is going to get all your data. Well, that's where their partnership comes into play. They say that OpenAI or Apple is not going to keep your data. The data will only be transmitted to the servers to generate your response, and none of the questions or answers will be stored on their servers or anywhere. Your IPs in this process will also be obfuscated ensuring that OpenAI cannot create a profile for you based on your IP or other data. This is going to be a free service, and you won't need any accounts to use it. But, if you want, you can connect your own ChatGPT account as well. These features are not just limited to Siri. You can also use them with any app you use. You'll get a writing tool if you right-click anywhere and you can ask either the on-device LLM or chat GPT to write or rewrite lines. It's pretty cool. But it's not just limited to text. They have now added an on-device image generator. Yes, they now have an image playground app where you can generate images with text. You can use multiple styles and options to create some great AI pictures. It's really cool. They have also added a bunch of photo editing and call audio transcription features. But the one thing that I really like about all this is how easy they have made creating AI-based apps on iOS, iPadOS, everything I just told you about is now available as an API for third-party developers to use. This means that creating images, generative text, and more is now just one click away for third-party developers. This is something I never thought of. They have actually made AI seamless in their software and apps. This is one area where Apple is definitely ahead of Android. Think about it. If you're an app developer and you want to create a feature in your app where users can generate images with AI, previously, you'd have to implement your own API, which would go to a server. And then that AI server API would generate an image and send it back to your app. This would obviously add up costs, leading to these features being paywalled by the developer because they can't afford users spamming image generations, which would cost the company a lot of money. But now, even free apps can allow you to generate images, text, and more on the device, fast and efficiently, without incurring additional charges. Plus, developers won't need to write a bunch of code to add these functionalities. Also, it's not just limited to this. Now, you can run custom open source or fine-tuned models like Stable Diffusion, Whisper, Mistral, Llama, Falcon, Clip, and more. You can do on-device model inference without any hassle. This is a really great feature that changes how we look at AI. We typically see AI models or applications as custom software, right? But this makes it so that it's an integrated thing 
in your OS that any app can use and take advantage of without messing around with those big model and LLM files. And it all can be done locally, making it really privacy friendly as well. It's really cool. I hope Android also adds similar APIs to their next SDK. I haven't seen many people talk about this great addition by Apple, so that's why I had to cover it. Apple also added a copilot like feature for free on Xcode, where it can auto complete your Swift code and generate Swift code for you based on text, which is also really cool. They are calling it Swift Assist. That's also really cool. So, these were the major AI announcements made at Apple's 2024 event. I think it was pretty sick. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.